E aí, guys! My name is Priscilla Elias. I'm a Brazilian photographer living in Sweden. I've been working as a full-time photographer for about four years now, one of which I've been focusing on YouTube. And just as it probably happens with you, things are not always easy for me. I spend hours and hours doing research, taking photos, producing scripts, recording videos, editing videos to get 100, 200, 300 views sometimes, 25 to 30 hours working on a video and no apparent significant return. You might be going through something similar. Maybe you're feeling like your work has not been getting the recognition, the money or the views it deserves, but I've got a couple of things to share with you that should help you overcome that. Today I'll tell you how I keep inspired in photography when nothing seems to be happening, you know? And after you watch this video, just as me, despite all the hard times you go through, you should be able to keep inspired in photography. Intro! <laughs> There's no news to this. If you follow other photographers, videographers, YouTubers or any artists in general, you've probably heard them talk about burnouts. You spend hours and hours working on a project and many times in the end it feels like it's not paying off. Or maybe it is paying off, but it feels like too much pressure. Maybe because you're not getting enough money, views, maybe you're not getting to live out of what you've been putting so much effort into. I get it, I'm a very small YouTuber and I put a lot of effort into this channel and many times I feel like things are just too slow, like they're never going to change. But besides all of the hard times and feelings, there are a couple of things I do that always bring me back to being inspired and positive. I hope by the end of this video you will also feel more inspired and confident of your own path. You don't plant one day and reap the next. It takes time. It's the natural process of all things and when I'm feeling down, I bring that back to the top of my mind and I take a break. I go grab a cup of coffee, I'll read something, I'll change the activity I'm doing for a while so that I'll give my mind and body a break. Meditating could be an option and it has been for quite a while for me, but lately there's so much more I want to do and learn that whenever I feel saturated, I just focus on one of the other dozens of things I want to learn and dive deeper into. So that would be my number one thing I do every time I start to feel saturated. Take a break. It can be a 30 minute break, one hour, a day's break, it depends on how tired I am and, and if that involves everything and anything I do regarding to my work or if I'm just tired and saturated of a specific thing like maybe editing a video. Taking a break can help you to get a refresh and produce twice as fast when you get back to work, so it is worth it. The next tip that works very well for me is to watch videos of other people who have been at the same point and see how they overcame that and got to where they wanted. For example, there's a channel I absolutely love about YouTube growth and that helps me so much to keep inspired when I start to feel like things are a bit slow, which is Catherine Manning's channel. For almost two years her channel was very small, she was releasing about one video every two days and even though she had about 8,000 views per month at the time and her channel was about 1.5 years old, she wasn't even monetized yet. She thought about giving up sometimes, but she never did. After she got monetized for about five months she had about 10,000 views a day. Until one day all of a sudden everything changed. She got recommended by YouTube with one of her videos and the rest is history. She has almost 400,000 followers at the time I record this video and her channel is about four years old now. One and a half year to get to 1,000, another three years to get to 400,000 subscribers. That kind of story inspires me. It makes me remember that yeah, it takes time and that yeah, it's normal to be tired of waiting sometimes and that you just have to keep going because at any time, as long as you keep doing your work the best you can, 
the results will come. The secret is actually not giving up. Most of the people who never got there never did because they gave up. So watching other creators' testimonials about their history makes me get back on track and I always do it when I start to feel hopeless. Before I go on, if this video helps you somehow, please help me to keep inspired and happy also by simply hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. The results matter and maybe you have no clue of how much a tiny little thing like this can do for a career of a content creator like me. It means a lot, so please do it. Done that, thank you so much, let's keep going. Another thing that should help you as it helps me is simply seeing other people's art. I try to research for new photographers, follow them, check out their work, drop them a line, and many times I have new ideas and the will to do new and different things only because I've seen a certain person's work. It happens all the time. Other creators' works inspire me a lot all the time and for that reason it is a daily exercise to me. Spending some time, maybe 30 minutes or so, going through other artists' work to see what they're up to. The next thing that inspires me frequently and that I suggest you give it a try is reading. And when I say reading, I do not always mean reading photography stuff. Sometimes I read about investments and I have photography ideas. Sometimes I read about cats and I have a photo idea. Sometimes I read about technology, digital marketing, fantasy and I have ideas for photos and videos. When you're reading, you're usually learning something. If you're learning something, your brain automatically will find connections to the things you do on a daily basis. And that is a powerful tool for inspiration. I definitely recommend it. And the last tip I have for you that should help you to keep inspired in photography is live. As simple as that. Photography is art and sometimes all you need to do is go for a walk, travel, which is something we haven't been able to do much lately, but maybe meet a friend, have a drink, listen to some music, watch a movie. Many times you will also learn new things from that in a way your brain doesn't even understand as work, but that in the end adds up to the juice you need to create new stuff. Many, many times I have video ideas when I'm in the shower, for example, or when I'm on the road traveling, listening to some music. Why? Because that's a kind of meditation. Your brain goes to that place where it rests, but is still aware. And many, many times that is where things actually happen. So live life is the greatest source of inspiration you could get, and you can get it for free. Isn't that amazing? I've been studying a ton of new things related to investment, arts, digital marketing. I've been watching YouTube videos of other creators' histories who inspire me and for all of those reasons, I've been pretty inspired in the last couple of weeks. I've got tons of new ideas and things I want to do for this channel and for my photography in general. The long days are back in Sweden and that's why I'm recording with just natural light today and maybe that's what's been helping me also. Yeah, the endless nights kill me. So I hope to keep creating better and better content for you day after day and I hope I can inspire you somehow to keep going, to keep getting better, to keep creating and to keep following your dreams as I am following mine. I hope you guys have a great week, thanks so much for watching me and I hope to see you very much inspired in the next video. Ciao!